When performing a brake adjustment procedure, first off you need to know what size brake chamber you're adjusting because of MTO specifications. Each brake chamber has its own limitation for brake pushrod stroke. This being a number 30 style brake chamber is allowed two inches of brake stroke. So when the brake pedal is pushed with the emergency brakes released, you are allowed two inches of actual push rod travel before the MTO declares that this vehicle is out of service. Generally one inch to inch and a quarter is recommended and in order to adjust that on this style of slack adjuster you have your adjuster nut and it is a ratcheting style of adjuster nut so that it can be turned in one direction freely which will be tightening the actual brake and to know that for sure if you turn the adjuster and watch the S cam the S cam will turn in the direction of rotation that it would when the brakes are applied. When adjusting or tightening the brake with the adjuster to make sure you're going in the proper direction, the slack adjuster will turn freely in one direction. Automatic slacks have some type of ratcheting affair so that they will turn freely in one direction and they will be tight and have to ratchet in the other. Tightening, they turn freely. In order to be sure of that, if you watch the slack adjuster and the S-cam, as you're tightening, the S-cam will move in the direction of travel that it would when the brakes are applied. So in this case, it's going to move in a counterclockwise direction. When the brake is fully tight, the brake shoes are fully against the brake drum. The slack adjuster can't be tightened any further. General rule of thumb is one full half a turn back against the ratchet and you can hear the actual ratcheting mechanism working on this slack adjuster. One full half. Now what we need to do is to make a brake application and measure the actual stroke or the distance that the push rod comes out of the chamber. One method is to put a chalk mark on the push rod as it comes out of the chamber and measure it. Another method is to take a reference point, whether it's the clevis pin or the end of the clevis on your tape measure. Get your assistant to step on the brake and as the push rod comes out, measure your travel. As long as the distance is under the two inches, it is within MTO specifications. But like I said before, inch to inch and a quarter is recommended. And if possible, when doing the brake adjustment, if the wheel is in the air, if you can spin the wheel to make sure there is no brake drag, on the shoe, then that is also an extra precaution you can take so that you know there is no brake drag. Most brake adjustments are done with the vehicle sitting on the floor. As long as all the components are moving properly, inch to an inch and a quarter of stroke, 
should give you the proper clearance between the shoe and the drum so that you don't have any brake drag. And that would give you the proper brake adjustment procedure. Take your reference point or your chalk mark, find it with the brake released, and then with the brake applied, you can see that we have an inch and a quarter of stroke on this, which means this brake is well within proper.